brings to light a similar duck boat accident that happened here in Arkansas years ago when 13 people were killed on a tour boat that sank on Lake Hamilton in Hot Springs. That accident happening May 1st, 1999. Kierke for us, Kaylin Reardon joining us now live from Lake Hamilton. And Kaylin, we understand this accident led to some changes, some safety issues here. Kaylin, uh, how are the folks reacting to this tragedy there? Well, Bob and Ashley, obviously, they're trying to do the best they can with safety. This is actually where the duck boats launch, right at this boat launch here on Lake Hamilton. Um, 20 years ago, this is, you know, the lake that this tragedy happened on. And, of course, that business, that company that ran those duck boats then went sh out of business shortly after that. But, of course, there are still duck boats in town that are operated. And that company making changes, they say their boats are... World War II vehicles that are inspected and serviced every day by mechanics before they're used. They also have more than enough life jackets on board the vessel for everyone. And if after that 1999 accident, the owner of the company today that's operating says that they made some changes to the structure of the boat where it had failed all those years ago. Now, as for the weather, there are nine different emergency exit ramps out of the lake here while that's on the water portion of the tour, and the drivers always keep an eye on what's happening with the weather. A couple of days ago, my six o'clock tour went out. He got to the lake. He called me and he said, You know, we got some strong winds coming in and lightning. The duck turned around. We gave rain checks to everybody, and I closed the 7 30 trip. We now, they say that's happened a couple of times this year because of storms that pop up at the last minute. Uh, in addition to those safety precautions, we do know the duck boats down here and have to uh, be in compliance with Coast Guard standards. That's in regards to the vessels and in terms of the drivers and their training. They have to go through three months of training before they're even allowed to take a tour out. Reporting in Hot Springs tonight, I'm Caitlin Reardon. Back to you. All right, Caitlin, thanks very much. And these aren't the only accidents of the... 2010, two tourists were killed in Philadelphia when the duck boat they were riding on was hit by a barge. In 2015, five people were killed, 69 injured in Seattle when a duck tour bus actually hit a bus carrying students. And in 2016, authorities reported that three separate duck boat crashes happened, one in Philadelphia, two in the Boston area.